Welcome back to Forces Education. This is Zed. Today we're gonna be talking once more about Clover Health, going with the ticker C L O V. Now we did talk about Clover Health before. Uh, the last video is in the description below. But today we're bringing new pieces of due diligence. Hopefully, that a lot of extensive technical analysis and key points and where we're hitting, and then what I think about this one. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So Clover Health, if you have never heard about this one, they basically are trying to uh, provide a Medicare kind of solution for elderly at a very affordable cost to replace the existing programs or to aid with the existing programs itself at up to or down to zero dollars per month in some areas. And so they basically are somewhere between healthcare providers and not really insurance, but more of a healthcare provider in general. And some of their plans even includes dental, vision, hearing, access to the doctor, over-the-counter allowance, broad and open networks, prescription drug coverages, and as well the Clover Assistant, which is given to hospitals for and doctors uh, to assist with technology at lower cost or no cost in some cases. And before even going on towards the uh, technical analysis, first we need to take a look into the latest news and we are able to see that the latest news would come probably closer to the September 9th, 2021 level as they present at Wells Fargo Virtual Healthcare Conference. And the conference here is happening on Thursday, September 9th. 2021 at 3 20 p.m eastern standard time so if you're really interested in the stock make sure that you sign up for this one as we do anticipate some new news coming out out of this conference or at least updates relating towards the current operations now in terms of careers openings they're hiring a bunch of career or a bunch of employees or openings in general uh, as they, they do have so that's really interesting to see uh, it's always good to see that their company is hiring more uh, as long as their revenue is increased the last institutional buyer comes in as green oaks capital partners where they did scoop up around 31 percent of the entire company 30.6 percent to be precise at around the 10th of august but there's no recent institutional buyers at that level. The last one was on the 7th of September, around 1,000 shares from Newbridge Financial Services Group. And we don't get to see much activity so far in September. I mean, it's the early of the month, and there's not a lot of institutional activities in general this early in September. Insiders... We don't have any activities relating towards insiders in the last 90 days whatsoever. And institutional buyers, you get to see what happened. SSC filings, there's no updates in the last two weeks. In terms of the short interest though, we get to see there are availability of around 600,000 shares that are able for short selling. Now, this is not the total amount of shares, but this is the shares available for short selling currently that are not borrowed yet. With a current percentage of short borrow rate of around 1.27% as a fee rate that is charged daily and you're able to see that the short volumes declined a little from previously currently they're sitting anywhere around 21.49 up to 46.23 percent of the entire short volume now they're no longer one of the most shorted stocks based on all the data that we get to see as for instance this is a very popular uh, website saying or showing high short interest stocks and clover health isn't anymore on the top of the list it was previously a while ago now, before moving on, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and leave vacations on. Also, don't forget to drop a like to this video and you can join our Discord totally free in the description below. Now, if you were able to go towards Twitter or retail in general uh, in terms of channels, you're able to see that there is a lot of attention for Clover Health. For instance, on September 6th, right on here in terms of Reddit, Clover Health was one of the most talked about in the last uh, few days as well, specifically on or over the long weekend. So it's definitely a lot of retail interest and a lot of folks from retail and influencers that are trying to push this one as it's being mentioned. And so this is a retail push rather than a news or perhaps just a short interest push. It does seem to be as a collaborated uh, retail push on its own. 
let's move on towards technical analysis now. now from a technical analysis perspective what we do get to see is that the price action has jumped all over the moving averages really showcasing a very bullish price action movement at this level in terms of the adx you're sitting at 2437 which suggests the start of a very strong trend or a start of a trend in general and it's currently going over to closer towards 25 where we can actually indicate that this is in fact the start of a very strong trend in terms of willing percent R, this is showing as overbought showing that there are more buyers than sellers and we get to see this with a massive green candle around 22 percent today alone in terms of momentum that's very bullish and the macd shows a massive strength showcasing that there might be in the in the next few days a stronger or an upper leg now, in terms of both stochastic fast and stochastic slow, everything is pinpointing upwards, suggesting that this one is attempting to break a very hard resistance, and there might be another leg up for this one. Volume is one of the highest in general, I would say probably ranks as the third highest, not as high as we had on 8th of June and the 9th of June where we hit 28.85. But it does seem like the day before that, on the 7th of June, so there's definitely a lot of interest into that and a lot of people might be considering buying just waiting for a similar movement to that of the 28.85 if you're one of those people mention it down in the comments below what do you think is it going to reach out to almost 30 dollars or not now in terms of the fibonacci retracements part and the reason why i'm showcasing these is because institutional buyers do use it and currently there's some resistances such as 1163 1492 1758 2024 2403 and 2885 the support on the Fibonacci retracements is 631. Now, in terms of some price line actions, we're able to see that there is a critical resistance at the 1128. And then above there, around the 1226, going up to 1378, 1466, going to 1614, 1818, and then 2216, and then 25, followed by 2885. The current supports there are a few for instance a critical one at the 1068 if we do break it we might have actually a bit of trouble at the 962 followed by 899 going downwards to 832 793 and then down to 747 going to 684 and 631 right away comes to the question to ed what do you think about this one so if I learn from anything, these kind of strong movements, as you get to see with Clover Health, um, it does seem to be majority of the time followed by an opening a bit on the higher the next day and then a bit of drop or a really massive jump upwards. And it almost feels like a win-win situation if you bought today because one of three massive jumps like this happened. Previously, it jumped and then dropped down and then got another jump almost at the same bottom level and that opened up back again upwards and then kind of dropped and then jumped back so it's kind of moving sideways so it either moves sideways or you get to see this gap upwards on the next few days and you're able to kind of get a sense on how it trades it either trades like this or trades like this if tomorrow's action doesn't look like this or the day after then it's most likely going to follow this trend on the left now the ten dollar is a very critical one for this one there's a lot of retail push towards this one and i'm not surprised if it does reach back towards the 20s but what do you think about the sticker make sure to mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day now if you're still here on this video make sure to drop down below and join our discord we have a lot of different things going on including for instance members that gives picks for free it's not pump and dumps we just things we think about swings etc we also have really exciting bots uh, you can actually use those ones for instance we're just testing out this bot for instance that gives you fibonacci resistance points activities etc and we have a bunch of free things totally free we run on tips here and you can ask me questions suggest stocks etc it's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day.